We all know that water is essential to our day-to-day -day lives here in Cape Breton. Water moves through the water cycle, around the world, and back here again. But what happens to the water as we use it? Where does it go when it leaves your home, your school, your streets? And why should you care? This is the solution to water pollution. We're talking all about wastewater and bringing the issue home. My name is Avery and today we'll explore wastewater treatments here in Cape Breton. Remember, wastewater is 99% water and 1% waste stuff. That 1% makes a big difference in our water and then our environment. Because water is so important to us here in Cape Breton, wastewater treatment is equally as important. To show you how we treat it right here in the CBRN, let's go to the field with Bria. Hello, Bria. Hey Avery, today we're here at Dominion Beach, a beautiful spot found here in Dominion, just down from Bridgeport. These towns are now treated to the Dominion Bridgeport Wastewater Treatment Plant. This plant may look similar to Battery Point, but its inner workings are very different. It uses biological treatment, which means that instead of using screens and chemicals, it uses tiny single cell organisms and bacteria to break down the wastes. After moving through the plant, the water is released into the harbor, clean and ready for our environment. Complicated, right? Well, Matt Viva, the CBRM wastewater supervisor, is going to give us a tour. So we're here at the Dominion Bridgeport Wastewater Treatment Plant, and I'm here with Matt Viva, the CBRM wastewater supervisor. So can you tell me a bit about what goes on here? Sure, Bria. So all the wastewater from Dominion Bridgeport area come into this plant. Um, basically all of the heavy debris, like rags and garbage, is chopped up and screened out of the process. After this stage of the process, the water is then uh, leaves this room, and is pumped up to our actual treatment area, which we'll head to now. Cool. So Bria, as I mentioned, after screening, all the wastewater is pumped up to these four large tanks that we're standing on, actually. Um, and this, this process is actually entirely different than the battery point process. We don't use any chemicals. Okay. And we actually use a biological process. Uh, the biological process actually happens every day naturally in the environment. We just engineer it a little by adding the right amount of air and settling time. Uh, basically creates a perfect environment for all little tiny critters and bugs to thrive and uh, treat the wastewater. So in these tanks, um, all the solids and particles settle to the bottom, similar to Battery Point. But and once they're all pumped to a sludge holding tank, which is in the center of these tanks right here, that is actually transferred to a dewatering unit where all the water is squeezed out of the solids and the solids are trucked to the landfill. So all the leftover water is actually disinfected where all the bacteria is killed in our ultraviolet light system, which we'll see in a little while. Oh, cool. So after the water's been treated in the SBR tanks and all the solids have been removed, the clear water is then transferred down here where to the disinfection stage where all the bacteria and stuff is killed over the, when the water passes over those UV lights um, and then transferred out to the Atlantic Ocean. Cool. So now I'll take you inside to show you what we do on a day-to-day -day basis in the lab. Oh, cool. So, Bria. To know exactly how much air to add to the process and how much settling time to give to the SBR tanks, we actually pull a sample of water from the tanks on a daily basis, put it on a slide and check to see what's actually living in the water. Um, this gives us an indication on exactly how much air to add. It's hard to believe those little bugs can clean our wastewater so well. Yeah, absolutely. And actually it's a good point because residents of Dominion and Bridgeport should realize that putting medications and stuff down the drain can actually kill the entire population of bugs. That well, it would cause a major process upset. And it takes time to get back to a point where the water is effectively treated. Very interesting. Thank you very much for the tour, Matt. Back to you, Avery. Thanks, Bria. That's a great tour, and Matt makes an important point. When you were little and you had an earache, what did your folks give you? Antibiotics, right? This medicine kills the bad bugs in your body, making you healthy again. But it also kills the good bugs, like the ones treating your wastewater. If you like healthy water going into your harbor, don't send your medication down the drain. Your medication doesn't make the fish healthy, it makes them sick. Take your unused medication to a pharmacy for safe disposal. In the end, our wastewater goes into the Atlantic Ocean. We share our beautiful ocean with many other aquatic creatures. We also use it for work and play. Remember that lobster you love to eat in the spring? Or how about that awesome beach in the summertime? It's all connected, and all you have to do is keep it clean. Simple, right? Do your part, it's no drainer.